Saturday, the 8th of September, 2018, is indeed a day to remember for the family of Dr. Taiwa Falabi and Prince Solainka Mishadi, as the two families came together for the engagement ceremony of their children, gorgeous Princess Abisola and Olainka Mishadi. The engagement ceremony took place at Jogo Center, Ibado, Oyo State, Nigeria. The union of the two lovebirds brought together two families, the Afolabi is from Abeokuta in Ogo State, and the Umishade is from Ileife in Oshun State, Nigeria. Family members, friends, and well-wishers of both families came out in their numbers to witness the ceremony. The groom's father, Dr. Taiwa Afolabi, M.O.N., is a Nigerian business magnate and lawyer. He is the founder and CEO of CFAX Group, a conglomerate that deals in oil and gas. While the bride's father, Prince Olayinka Omishade, is a royal prince from Ileife in Oshun State, the groom, Olayinka Fulabi, first son of quiet billionaire Dr. Taiwo Olayinka Fulabi, is a deputy managing director of CFAX Group. He is also the owner of the Grill Outlet, located on Alexander Road, Ikoi, Lagos. The bride, Princess Abisola, works as an assistant HR manager for an international student accommodation company. Eminent royal fathers present at the engagement ceremony include the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Nitogunzi, the Elegushi of Ikate Land, His Royal Majesty, Oba Saida de Malai Legushi, Kusin Lade III, the Olu of Iwo Land, Oba Abdul Rashid Akombi, Alhaji Sahid Akimadi, among many other royal fathers. The latest couple in town made their grand entry, starting with a tall, dark, and handsome groom, Olainka Falabi, in company of his friends, that danced into the hall happily. The groom, Olainka Falabi, was asked to perform the traditional rites by prostrating in front of his in law alongside his friends, which they all did as a photo and video session with the parents ended that aspect. Shabby, you want banga, banga, baba. Oh, boy, oh, boy, yeah, you baba, baba. You can never top on spinal, baba. Never top on bad, baba. I hear you know what to say, baba. Mama, you know, go to jail, yeah, baba. Later on, the woman of the moment, beautiful Princess Abesola, got all the attention needed as the aisle was cleared to receive the latest bride in town with some fireworks and good music. It was indeed a joyful moment for the bride, Princess Abisola, who danced all the way in excitement. As a well brought up Yoruba lady, the bride, Princess Abisola, first paid homage to the groom's family before proceeding to thank her parents for their love over the years. Royal fathers present later prayed for the bride. <laughs> The newly word were then presented with their marriage certificates, after which the bride was officially handed over to the groom's family by the Omisha days. It was merriment all the way as legendary juju icon King Sonia Day entertained guests all night long. Don't lie, don't lie. On Saturday, the 15th of September 2018, Lagos stood still for the glamorous wedding between Olainka Maya Falabi, son of Dr. Taiwo, and Mrs. Falashadea Falabi from Ugo State, and his heartthrob, Abisala Lufunke Omishadi the beautiful daughter of Prince Olainka from Ileife in Oshun State, Nigeria. The groom, Olainka Falabi, is a graduate of accounting from Coventry University, UK. He works at CFAX Marine Services as a director and a business development manager. 
He also owns the Grill Outlets located in Ikui, Lagos. His heartthrob, Abishola Omishade, who just relocated from the UK, is a graduate from one of the Ivy League universities in the UK and an HR manager with a student accommodation company. The couple's love story began when they met at the groom's sister's grand ball event in the UK, and that beautiful union led to something special. The church wedding, which was held at the Cathedral Church of Christ, Marina Lagos, had in attendance the honor of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Oba Adeyeye Nitogunsi, the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamusu, Special Advisor to the Ogun State Governor and Health, Mrs. Fuluke Bello, and many other important personalities. The church service kicked off for the bridal procession as the beautiful bride, Abisola Olufunke Omishadi, was walked down the aisle by her father. The exhortation was next which was delivered by one of the officiating ministers. It was followed by the charge and declarations where the couple, Abisola Omishade and Olayenka Fulabi, took their marriage vows in the presence of God and the congregation. The Bible written for the service, which was taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 21 to 33, was read by the maid of honor, Yemisiaki. In the sermon, the officiating minister talked about the true essence of marriage. She said, marriage is beyond the day of the wedding ceremony, and that God is the initiator of marriage. Therefore, God should be the center of their union. He urged the couple to cleave and understand each other's differences and also admonished them to respect, love, and care for each other. A man will be his father and mother and be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. God is the originator of marriage. God is the initiator of marriage. The idea of marriage was not suggested to God by Adam. It was God who looked around all he had created and he saw Adam in his state. And God in himself came to that conclusion it is not good for Adam to be alone. And there is something about our God we all need to know. Any project God will not be able to finish, you will not start. You are the woman suitable for all I have no any other woman. You are good to that. Amen. And I want you to take that seriously. It's, it's a serious assignment. It's a ministry on your own part. 
God said it is not good for him to be alone. And therefore, out of all the women in the world, out of all the women in London, in the United Kingdom, you are the only one sweet. You shall ever be sweet ever. In the name of Jesus Christ. After the sermon were prayers for the couple and the signing of the marriage register as parents on both sides joined the couple for the signing of the marriage certificate, after which the newlyweds were introduced to the church as Mr. and Mrs. Olainka Folabi. The Thanksgiving session was next as friends and family members of the Omishades and their Folabis joined in the praise session, which brought the service to an end. <laughs> Entering the exquisitely decorated hall of the Harbour Point, Wilmot Road, Victoria Island, Lagos, one will feel the love and joy that spread through the atmosphere. The reception ceremony between Abishala and Olayinka Falabi was a fun-filled one. Baba. 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 Shabby, you want banga, banga, baba. Oh, boy, oh, boy, yeah, baba, baba. You can never top on spin on baba. Never top on bad, baba. I hear you know what to say, baba. I'm a dino, go to Jala, baba. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, wait for the moon, baba. I say, wait for the baba, baba. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It had the cream de la cream of the Nigerian society in attendance and was also packed with performances by top notch Nigerian music artists like Tsubaba, Meoku, and Ricardo Banks. This, of course, didn't come as a surprise, as one of the brothers of the groom is Damilola Folabi, popularly known as Lax, one of Nigeria's foremost recording artists. The event, which was moderated by Tunde Adewale, also known as TA, had high-profile guests like the governor of Ogun State, Senator Bukela Mosu and wife, Mrs. Olufun Shamosu, Hadia bin Tamasari, First Lady of Kassina State, Dr. Tukumba Wolowadusumu, who was the chairman of the occasion, Pastor Itwai Gudalo, pastor of the Trinity House Ministries International, Senator Florence Itagiwa, Chief Mike Inebese, CEO Inemic Motors, Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Ogo State, Dayo Adene, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, Olori Ladun Shijuade, Prince Bisiola Tilo, the Chairman and CEO, Biscon Communications, among many other important personalities. Leading the entourage of traditional rulers was the honor of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Nitogunse, the Ojaja II. The Legushi of Ikate Land, His Royal Majesty Oba Said Ademolai Legushi, the Uluwo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akombe, the Ojora of Ijora, Oba Fataya Remaru Mire, 
among some of the royal fathers from the northern part of the country. Also in attendance was actor and politician Desmond Elliott, a mortal agile among some others. The event kicked off with the entry of the parents of the bride, who were joined by family members and friends as the sugar band provided songs of thanksgiving. <coughs> The most anticipated moment of the reception came. The entry of the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Salainka Fulabi. It was a moment of fun as the bridal party heralded the couple in entertaining dance steps. They fed the eyes of guests with their well thought out dance moves. <laughs> After the opening prayer, which was delivered by Pastor Kaido Wolabi and Reverend Victor Adeyemi, founder and senior pastor of Global Harvest Church, was the chairman's address. The chairman of the occasion, Dr. Tokumba Wolabadusumu, in her remarks, congratulated the couple for sealing their union of love in such a great way. She admonished them to love each other unconditionally and also advised the bride to be submissive to her husband and the husband to love his wife despite her many flaws. You are starting a new journey today. You have started with God. You will continue with God. The Lord will be at the head of your home and will be your guide constantly. There are practical things that you need to know. You know, the Bible says you should honor one another. And the Bible says that the wife should submit to the husband. Even if the Bible didn't say so, although the Bible is the ultimate word of God, our culture demands that the wife submits to the husband. You know, we women, we were created after the men. And I want to tell you that we are an improved version of the man. We are an improved version because God deposited in the woman some other skills that he didn't give the man. When I see you privately, I will tell you. And there is a way by which you can get your way every time. 
we know how to do it. But we don't have to do it in a rebellious way. I pray that your marriage will be long and fruitful. And the blessings of God will abide with you everywhere you go. The cutting of the cake was next, which was conducted by Evangelist Lillian Badamosi. As the couple was joined by their parents and friends in the cake stand. Thereafter was the couple's first dance, and the DJ was at his best as he serenaded the hall with good romantic music, which puts the couple in a world of their own. After that, there were live performances by top Nigerian acts like Mayo Adewale, popularly known as Mayokun, Ricardo Banks. Brother of the groom, Damilola Falabi, popularly known as Lax, and to crown it all up was the performance by Tsubaba. It was a moment of fun as guests, including the young and old, grooved to the songs provided by these top Nigerian artists. Dance followed immediately afterwards as the Sugar Band provided good music, which officially declared the dance floor open as guests grooved all night long. From Biscon Communications, where he congratulated their Falabis and Omisha Days 
on the success of the marriage between their children. We wish Mr. and Mrs. Olayinka Fulabi a blissful married life. <laughs>